Ah, ah, nothing like an early morning jog. To... <coughs> Phew. What? Oh, stop it. Dear Tim and Moby, I've been hearing lots of scary stuff in the news about the coronavirus. Can you tell me more about it, please? Thanks, Khalil. Sure thing, Khalil. Viruses are tiny particles that can invade living cells. There are millions of varieties with different behaviors, shapes, and structures. Coronaviruses are one group named for their crown-shaped outline. Four of these commonly infect humans. A lot of times when you get a cold, it's caused by a coronavirus. Any virus has one goal, to replicate or make more copies of itself. But it can't do that on its own, so it invades an organism and turns its cells into virus factories. <laughs> this can be unpleasant for the host, the organism that the virus has infected. A typical coronavirus infection has mild symptoms like runny noses and headaches. A healthy body can fight off this kind of illness on its own. But in a body with weakened defenses, the infection can become more serious and require medical treatment. This latest coronavirus seems to be following that same pattern. For most people, especially kids, the symptoms are like a mild case of the flu. But some people have become seriously ill, and that's gotten everyone's attention. This new coronavirus was first identified in Wuhan, China. In late 2019, there was an outbreak. That's when a disease starts spreading. More and more people got sick, first in China and then around the world. Entire cities have been quarantined or closed off to slow the disease's spread. Fortunately, viruses can't get around without our help. And there's a lot we can do to not help them. Like washing your hands, especially after you use the bathroom and before you eat. That's always a good idea, and you probably already do it. If you're sick, try to avoid other people. You wouldn't want to infect them, even if it's a plain old cold. Masks may seem like a good idea, but they're mostly ineffective. When you cough or sneeze, just cover your nose and mouth to help keep any germs contained. <coughs> Lots of outbreaks have been stopped when enough folks just follow these simple rules. Yeah, it's true. Some people have died after being infected by the Wuhan coronavirus. That's because the virus can infect a person's lungs and make it hard to breathe. Those are the stories we hear about most online and in the news. But the vast majority of cases have been mild. If you feel overwhelmed by the news, consider limiting how much you let in. Instead of cable news and social media, stick to sources like the World Health Organization. They'll give you the big picture, not just the scary snapshots that make the headlines. And they're organizing experts all over the world to get this coronavirus under control. Still, it's totally normal if the situation's made you a little anxious. Talk to a trusted adult. They can help you put your feelings in perspective. One last thing. Coronavirus doesn't care where you're from or what your background is. So don't let anyone turn this into an excuse to target someone based on how they look. Working together is how we'll beat this thing. So let's stand up for our neighbors. Okay, I'm a sweaty mess. I gotta rinse off. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Where are you going? I really think you're overreacting. <laughs>